Welcome to Technical Tuesdays. This is Fred Razak, Senior Trading Strategist here at CM Trading. And today we're going to be discussing technical analysis. Now, those of you who are familiar with trading the financial markets will recognize this methodology of trading the financial markets. But if you're not familiar with it, we're going to define it and we're going to also show you the three premises it's based on and why traders use it and why it's one of the most common methodologies in trading the financial markets. But before we start, make sure to like and subscribe so that you can get future free value added content just like this. So let's delve straight into it. What is technical analysis? What is defined? And what are the three premises for it? So let's just delve straight into it. Technical analysis, it's the basic study of market action, primarily through the use of charts for the purpose of forecasting future price trends. So there are three terminologies here in the definition that need to be expanded. Number one, what is market action? Number two, the word forecasting sounds very familiar and very similar to the weatherman. And number three, what are trends? So market action is defined by price movement and volume. What that means is, is that there are fluctuations in the market, but those fluctuations are backed up by volume by participation in the marketplace. So if there's price movement and there's a lot of participation in the, in the market, that then creates a character to the financial markets. And when you're able to recognize that, when you're able to see that there is market action, that there is this price volume, okay, and price movement and volume, the combination, I call it price volume, right? When you're able to see that, then things start looking and start repeating themselves. And that kind of gives us the next terminology here, which is forecasting. Forecasting trends are basically the same way that a weatherman forecasts the weather. They don't know exactly what's going to happen, but they have seen enough recurrences in the weather that they're able to foretell or forecast the future weather. Now, weathermen have been wrong before and they'll be wrong again, especially those that are living on the coast, and if you live on the coast, you know this, right? That there are times that the weatherman is wrong. But by and large, the weatherman is able to forecast the weather and they can predict exactly, you know, how much it's going to affect us at what parts of the day. Now, let's get into the three most important components of technical analysis. Number one, okay, this is really very important. Prices move in trends. Okay, the words trends are because we collectively, as people, as a human race, do things as a community. Now, if you've heard the word trends before, many times, if you've been in the fashion industry or you're in real estate, you've heard this terminology before. The fashion trend, right, is to wear bell bottoms in the 1970s, okay, I'm that old, right? If, you know, 10 years ago, is it was to wear, you know, a certain type of clothing, okay? Fashion is obviously more affected with, you know, specific groups and specific areas and, you know, but trends happen, okay? And because we collectively as people see things in the marketplace, we react to it. We want to conform to our surroundings, okay? Most of us, right? And as a result, we create this kind of wave in the market Okay, that is predictable because if you see one person get a Tesla and then another person get a Tesla and then it's really cool and then, you know, as thing, things catch on, they become a trend, right? That is clear. Okay, so prices move in trends. That's number one. Number two, markets repeat themselves. There is nothing new in the markets that haven't happened and won't happen again. I know it seems like so self-explanatory, but believe it or not, it's not, okay? People are still at awe and shaken by the fact that prices do kind of repeat themselves. We have booms, we have busts. There are completely different players in the market, but guess what? People are people, and as long as the human race is trading the financial markets, it will do the same thing over and over again. It's run by greed, complacency, and fear. Okay, those are the three emotions that the markets are really running on. If they're running on any kind of emotions, those are the three. Greed, complacency, and fear. And lastly, the third pillar of technical analysis is markets discount everything. The markets will trade what the markets will trade. I know that seems repetitive and it seems very simple-minded, but it's true. 
Okay, the markets will react to the markets the way it is. Now, there will be a reckoning where there'll be some sort of a reaction to the reaction, right? You ever seen a situation where the markets overreacted to something or never reacted to something? Things are either priced in or not. But guess what? The markets will catch up to everything. So really the fact that, you know, in this particular situation that we're finding ourselves right now, the Silicon Valley bank that has just bellied up, okay, markets will have caught up to it at some point. Even though that there were insiders that knew what was going on, and even though the technicals showed that they was coming apart, right? There was insider sellings, there was all kinds of stuff happening in the stock that people kind of recognized from a technical perspective what was happening. But from a fundamental purpose, okay, it wasn't actually populated into the market. Nobody knew what was going on in the books. And this is one of the biggest arguments for trading technical analysis is that the technicals will tell you exactly what's happening before the fundamentals will. And that was a case in point. Silicon Valley Bank, when it bellied up, it bellied up in small little increments. It didn't just go off in one situation where it just halted and just the news came out. It happened over time. It happened over a five to six week basis. And things have been cooking up over the past year for various reasons. Not going to delve into it. But this is a case in point where technical analysis would have been there for you to anticipate that kind of move. Thank you for joining me. We'll see you here next time on Technical Analysis.